tonight the Roanoke City Council completed its consideration and action on the report of the Charter Study Commission uh, submitted last month. And our request will now be transmitted to our representatives in the General Assembly with the request that they amend the city charter as provided. The principal changes requested are these. Amendment of the charter to exempt from the limitations of the $2.50 tax ceiling of the operation of the public schools, and of course a separate school tax to be shown on tax tickets. Secondly, the direct election of the mayor of the city beginning with the June election of 1964. The establishment of a budget commission consisting of the mayor, the city manager, the city auditor, and four freehold voters of the city, which commission will be charged with the responsibility of preparing and presenting to council a proposed balanced budget each year, and approval of the appointment of department heads by council. I believe that the action taken tonight uh, will be remembered as, a, as, as an historic event in the city of Roanoke. We have, of course, many problems which must be faced immediately with respect to financing the city's operation next year. But I believe that the action taken, which gives a greater flexibility with respect to control of the city revenues, points the way toward a new era of progress and growth for Roanoke. 